It's Monday Night Football between the Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals. We break down the game, give you our best bet, and it all starts right now. Hey guys, it's Matt from GrandSamBetters.com and week 17 of the NFL season ends with Monday Night Football between the Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals. We're going to get to that bet in just a moment, but first, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't miss any of our NFL picks, predictions, and contests throughout the entire 2023. And while you're at it, Smash that like button. If you are excited for the NFL playoffs to start, we are just less than a week away from knowing all the matchups. I know I am. But without further ado, let's dive in to this Monday Night Football matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bills, one and a half point favorites at the moment. The over-under is set at 49.5. Now the Buffalo Bills, they come into this matchup 12-3 and, and with a win this week, they would clinch the number one seed in the AFC thanks to that win in week six over the Chiefs. Name of the game for this team this season has been their offense. They rank second overall, seventh in passing offense, seventh in rushing offense, and fourth in points per game. Now, Josh Allen has been doing a little bit of everything again this season with over 4,000 passing yards and 32 passing touchdowns and nearly 750 yards on the ground with seven rushing touchdowns, which is third most amongst quarterbacks this season. And he's given up the third fewest sack yards out of any quarterback that started every single game this season. Now, this offense is still loaded with other big playmakers like Stephon Diggs, Gabe Davis, Devin Singletary, uh, which has almost made it impossible for the opposing defenses to stop this team. The other reason, though, that the Bills are second best in the NFL right now record-wise is because their defense is much improved from last season. The loss of Von Miller for the season was certainly a big one, but this defense has given up the fourth fewest rushing yards per game this season and only 17.5 points per game this season, which is also second in the league. Now their Achilles heel defensively this season has been their secondary, which is a huge drop off from last year when they were the best secondary in the league, only allowing 163 yards passing per game. This year they rank 14th in the NFL and that's really not going to cut it against the likes of the Bengals and Chiefs who are heavy favorites in the AFC and have dynamite passing attacks. Luckily for us though, we get to see how this Bills secondary will do this week against Burrow and the Bengals here on Monday night. And speaking of Cincinnati, they come into this matchup a game behind the Bills at 11-4. And, and like we mentioned, they love to throw the football. They rank fifth in the NFL in passing yards per game with 269. And Burrow has well over 4,000 passing yards on the season with 34 touchdowns. Now, a big reason for this is that they have put together probably arguably the best wide receiver core in all of the NFL. Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, T. Higgins. You have to have a very deep secondary to shut down this offense all game. All three of those guys have 53 plus receptions, five plus touchdowns, and all have over 700 receiving yards on the season. That also doesn't even factor in Mixon and P. Reen, who have also tallied a combined 92 receptions out of the backfield. Those two also combined for 1,000 rushing yards on the season, giving the Bengals the seventh ranked offense in the league and six in points per game. On the other side of the football, defensively, the Bengals, they start off the season very well, but they have fallen off here a bit in the second half. Really, the only reason they've not received more criticism is because their offense has saved them quite a bit over the course of the second half of the season. Defensively, they're ranked 14th overall. Their secondary is 21st in the league. Run defense has given up over 100 yards per game, and they give up about 20 points per game. Now, we all saw last season how they were basically able to flip that script when it came to the playoffs, but it could be not a better test than right here on Monday Night Football with two weeks before the playoffs start to see how they match up against one of the better offenses that the Bills have in the league. So, what is our best bet in this AFC showdown between the Bills and the Bengals? Well, as we mentioned, both of these offenses are loaded, but combined, this is nuts. These teams actually are only 10-19-1 on the over this season. The over set at 49.5 points in this game, we think is going to have a thrilling ending written all over it. Both these teams have the offenses to put up a lot of points in very little time. They're actually ranked 6th and ninth 
in the league in second half points per game on the season. Now, with that being said, we see this one opening up a little more in the second half than in the first. So with our best bet for Monday Night Football of Week 17, we're going to take the Bills and the Bengals over 24 and a half second half points. Now, just a reminder, if you are looking for all of our upcoming Week 18 NFL plays, head out over to GrandstandBetters.com. Become part of our family. Start living that Grandstand life. But in the meantime, sit back, relax, enjoy Bills and Bengals on Monday Night Football, and we'll see you live right here for the game.